in the late 1960s and early 1970s, the Egyptian army emerged as one of the largest operators of the Soviet T-54-55 main battle tank. Egypt was then a close ally of the Soviet Union in the Middle East. In the middle 1970s, the Egyptian army owned more than 1,200 T-54-55 tanks, although hundreds were lost or abandoned during the 1967 Six-Day War and in the 1973 war with neighboring Israel. As many countries began to launch ambitious upgrade packages to extend the serviceability of their T-55 tanks, the most notable was the Soviet version, the T-55 AAMV-1, with contact explosive reactive armor and the new V-16 engine from the T-72. Egypt was also looking to modernize its T-54-55 tanks as a cheaper alternative to buying new tanks from abroad. Due to the large number of T-54-55 tanks in the Egyptian army, the tank finally entered production in 2004 and 2005. A total of 425 units have been produced. The tank was originally called the T-54E, but was subsequently renamed Ramses II. The modernization of the T-55 would be heavily influenced by the technologies of its American rival, the M-60, which Egypt had acquired from the late 1970s and received very large numbers of following the end of the Cold War from American reserves. By the time the Ramses II program was underway, the M60 was quietly considered obsolete, but with Egypt largely fielding heavily downgraded armaments from the mid-1970s until the change of government in 2013. This fitting with broader trends in the country's armed forces. The upgraded T-55 used the same armament and ammunition as the M-60, which were provided by the United States, and the first of the new tanks was delivered for firepower and mobility trials in early 1987. The tank's new M68 105mm cannon was only very slightly larger than the T-55's original 100mm gun. However, and had few advantages, with both being obsolete rifled guns rather than smooth bore weapons, which was the modern standard. The lack of an autoloader and requirement for a four crew meant the tank had 33% more crew than modern Russian and Chinese designs, such as the T-72s used by neighboring Sudan, Libya, and Syria. The tank's most notable improvement was to its fire control systems. With the incorporation of a laser-ring fighter, new displays, and superior sensors for night fishing, as well as a new communication system. The tank also received a new 908 horsepower engine, which provided a very high degree of parts commonality with the M60 to reduce the logistical burden on Egypt's frontline units. Other improvements included some lodgers, new air fuel system, 
added armor to the size curves, a new ballistic computer and turret stabilization system, and new road wheels from American M48 tank. Overall, the Ramses II was far from an impressive tank and was much less capable than other cheaper T-55 upgrades packages developed in the USSR and elsewhere, such as the T-55 AAMV-1. Egypt acquired an estimated 400 to 500 of the vehicles, but continues to operate the original T-55 alongside them. Egypt's military has completely cut its dependence on the West since 2013. Egypt signing a contract to produce 500 T-90 MS tanks under Russian license will bring Egypt's armor forces back to the top of the Middle East region. And the possibility that the T-55 and Ramses II will be retired in the coming years is still being considered. My video about the Ramses MBT answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.